lovely Wednesday. We are here with the lovely Jay, Jay Gourmet. Um, our discussion that we will be covering today is eating uh, well with lupus. So I brought Jay on today to give us some tips on how to have a more healthier balance when it comes to eating certain things. As we all know, there are, are a lot of different resources um, out there and research out there um, letting us know what to eat, what not to eat, uh, what not to take too much of, what to stay away from, and what to have more of. So with further ado, this is Jay Gourmet. You can find him on all platforms, Jay, uh, Jay Gourmet. So yeah. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I'm a um, up and coming chef. Um, yeah, I got a catering company and I've been cooking since I was about eight years old. Oh. That's my first love. So eight years old without supervision on the grill. Really? Yeah. So I, I do a lot of, I do a lot of cooking. What's the love for it? Uh, it was always like a comfort. It, it put me in my comfort zone. I was a, I was doing it for so long for free for people. So I was like, you know what? They say, you know, you do what you love and you make it a career. And here I am now. Congratulations. That is super, super dope. That you've been a part of. Well, I recently was, um, Contested in Man Who Cook for the Black Chambers of Commerce. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> that was the first time I ever competed with anything in cooking, but I always get good reviews about cooking. So I went out there, put my best foot forward, and end up coming in second place. Congratulations! Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to stop. I want to keep going. I want to keep competing to see how far I can get and see how many awards I can win and, you know, show my kids that, you know, I'm out here doing something positive for the community. That is amazing. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. So what else? What else is it about, about the amazing gourmet, Jay? That they don't need no teeth to eat my meat, you know. Mm, what does that mean? That, you know, it's so tender, isn't it? Tender like a mother's love, you know, mm. you know. Fall right off the bone. Fall right off the bone. Yeah. Like to serenade my uh, meat, you know, my food when I cook it. Think it come out, you know, better. More flavor. The flavors sink in, you know, different notes I sing. Mm. <laughs> Making me hungry already. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna I was gonna bring you some salmon, but I, I had to go pick up some things. So next time I next time. You. Yeah, I got you some salmon because I know. I know how you feel about salmon. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Yeast and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was that was very dope. That's very dope. So, tell us what are some tips and traits on keeping the inflammation down while eating certain foods. Well, first of all, first of all, you gotta stay away from the saturated fats, different things that like processed food, a lot of red meat, things that hold that contain a lot of 
fat, like fried foods and stuff like that. And why so? What can it do to you? Yeah, it triggers inflammation. It actually adds information. I mean, inflammation in your body. So it'll make us sick. So once we get the information, we will become sick. Yeah. Because that triggers lupus, right? Yes, uh, it definitely does. So um, what else have you found out about it? What is something that we can take more of that can give us a more healthier, balanced diet? Really, uh, basically, like more fruits, fresh foods, vegetables, um, fatty, ve um, like fish that's high in omega-3s and, you know, stuff like that. Do you cook any of those dishes? Yeah, I actually specialize in uh, salmon. Salmon is one of my top dishes I, I sell. So I sell a lot of salmon because I don't eat meat. But I, I cook I cook meat, but my diet is more based off of seafood, you know, something that's not as stressful to your gut, your digestive system. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our different meats take longer to digest. Absolutely. And, so if you eat meat every day and it take two days to digest, when is it actually leaving your body? So it's like you just always have it in there. You know? Which is not healthy, huh? Right. <laughs> and a lot, of people don't, a lot of people don't know about, you know, fasting and, you know, stuff like that. So so have you ever fasted before? Yeah, I have. Actually, what? when I stopped um, eating meat, I went on like a liquid fast for about two months. So tell us, what does that do to your body? What's the benefits of fasting? It makes sure it actually helps your body heal internally, you know, because it because it gives it time to uh, restore itself. You know, you, you get a lot of water weight off, a lot of extra extra weight, you know, stuff like that. I definitely can contest that. I fast um, on and off before over the years of time. The only thing I do not like about fasting is how frequently you have to go to the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> But when it's over, you do, you feel very light. Your stomach is down. The swelling is down. The inflammation is down. You just feel like you done lost 10 pounds. Um, your uh, thinking process is better. Um, sleep is better. So I think fasting is very good. You should do it more often than not. Yeah. Because I, I believe it helps with like, you know, when you're using the bathroom a lot, mm -hmm. that's like detox. So you're getting out all the all the extra stuff when you sweat, like when you sweat and you use the bathroom a lot, you get out all that toxins out your body, flushing your kidneys and bladder out. Which we need, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, that is the amazing Jay. Again, tell them how they can get in touch with you or even order some food or yeah. come stop by. On Facebook, Jay's Gourmet Catering. Um, that's mainly, but I, I'm on Facebook, but my, I mean, not Facebook, but Instagram, but it's J Black to Don. Okay. That's my other, that's my stage name. Your stage name. Yeah. Stage. What, what else do you do besides cooking? I do, I do a little rapping, but I rap about cooking too, so. Really? Yeah. That is very interesting. Yeah. We that's have all platforms right there. Okay. Yeah. We may have to have him back for a segment too, because I didn't know nothing about this. Rapping about food. That's yeah. pretty interesting. I'm 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 intrigued on um seeing what that's what that's sounding like. Yeah. Okay, so we have a video to play for you guys, just giving you guys a visual. Some people learn di in different ways, so I'm gonna play something for you guys um on what to stay away from, what to get more of, and how it affects our gut, which we all know that our immune system is 80% in our gut. And that's how um, the information, that's where the information starts from to uh, make us sick. So let's check out the video. Problematic foods in lupus. The mistake I see most people make is they think they can just eat anything and hope that their lupus symptoms will just go away. But frequently, that's just not the case. Yeah. Typically, there's a food that's triggering an immune response. Then that food will cause recurring problems long term. That's why it's very important to keep a food diary and regularly review it to see if you can catch what's going wrong. It's amazing to see the number of easily avoidable problems if you just pay attention. And you may be thinking, so what are some of these problem foods for lupus? Now, like I said earlier, everybody's different, but this research article from a few years ago shows an altered intestinal environment is closely associated with the inflammation seen in lupus. 
Now, you shouldn't be surprised by this, considering around 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is contained in your gut. So when you have an immune disease, such as lupus, you need to look at what's wrong in your intestines. Some food, when it's not broken down properly, can trigger a strong immune response. Frequently, inflammation starts in the intestine. So to heal inflammation, you also need to heal the gut. Before we discuss how, discuss how the immune system can be triggered by certain complex proteins. We eat protein in our diets. It can come from a variety of sources, both plant and animal. A protein is basically a bunch of amino acids connected together. When the protein enters our digestive system, enzymes in our intestine break up these into individual components called amino acids, which then get absorbed. These intestinal enzymes are called proteases. And the reason this is relevant is sometimes the proteases don't get the job done and we're left with large particles of protein that linger in our intestines and bloodstream for long periods of time. Why does this happen? Well, certain types of protein are hard to break down. Also, there may not be enough protease to break down the proteins. Protease enzymes are produced by our bodies, but can also be found in many types of plants. As you already know, the gut is just one big giant immune organ. So these incompletely digested proteins register as a foreign threat and generate an immune response. Basically, the body thinks it's under attack by these large undigested proteins. So then it secretes a bunch of immune chemicals which cause inflammation, and that can be a protein. Large undigested protein provoke an unwanted immune response in our gut, so the more that they're broken down by enzymes, the better. The enzymes that digest proteins are known as proteases, and plants produce proteases to help with fruit ripening and seedling growth. We use them, obviously, to stay healthy. The names of these enzymes include seropeptase, natokinase, catalase, bromelain, and papain. These are just examples. In our diet, we hardly get enough of these unless we're eating a ton of microgreens or sprouts, which is why you should consider taking a protease supplement if you have immune inflammation. Next in this category of enzymes is coenzyme Q10, which is found in green and leafy vegetables. But you can also get this from a supplement. I hope you're starting to notice a trend here. Green and leafy vegetables hold a lot of value here across multiple phytocategories. So do seeds and sprouts and herbs and spices. The trouble I find is that it's hard to get a substantial amount of enzyme from everyday food. So a lot of folks just take supplements to help with this. Again, not all protease supplements are created equal. And you have to be sure that the enzymes you're ordering have confirmed activity across a variety of pH environments because your stomach is acidic, your small bowel is alkaline, and your blood is neutral to slightly basic. So ideally you need an enzyme blend that functions across. So as he stated, if you're going to buy enzyme, make sure they work for all three, your blood, your bowel, and um, your stomach. So just a little bit of history on how I deal with um, my diet. Again, it's so many different diets out here that you can do and so, many, so much information out here that you can search for and they're going to tell you different things. The best thing that um, I do, um, and I still do it to this day, I have a journal. So if you guys get a journal, even if you start journaling today, start writing down the foods that you eat, how it make you feel over a six week um, period of time. And then if it's making you feel some type of way, write it down, write your side effects. Um, if it's making you feel sluggish, if you want to the bathroom, if you have an upset stomach, whatever the case may be, because those are the foods that you would typically stay away from. That's how you kind to rule out what not to eat or what not to eat too much of. We're still human. We still want to have a life. So we still indulge in things that we are not supposed to indulge in, but we do. But we want to be healthy overall while doing so. So that is a good thing to have a journal. Um, so for me, um, salt. I try my best to stay away from salt. Um, I replace it with like lemon pepper or turmeric because that will still give you the taste that you need um, when cooking and still making your food flavorful. Um, it's a lot of other different um, seasons out there that you can use to replace your salt. Uh, sugar. So I am a fiend for sugar. 
I love my cakes and my pies and things of that nature. Um, so I will indulge in those too, but I know I do know when I have too much of that. And what will happen is my fingers will swell up, my feet will swell up, I would feel sluggish, it wouldn't be good for me. But um, I've been living well with lupus for so long, I typically know how to deal with that. So it's like a reset. Um, let's go to some of these comments in here from our lovely Lachelle. This is so good. Great info. And I'm definitely buying a play. Okay. You got a customer already. Hey, Lachelle. We also have, um, I just start back eating meat and I feel the difference. Let's stop it. Kenda, I love you too, babe. We got the love. This is my chocolate drop. Hey, Ruthia. Hey, sis. How you doing? And we have the panel podcast group. Yes, Miss Dash seasoning is uh, something that I do use. And it's it's very tasteful. So um, there are things that you can do um, to live well with lupus. Um, in the beginning, it's going to take some time. You might not want to do it. Um, you may go back and forth. But if I promise you, if you do do it, you're going to know the difference in your body and you're going to have more control over your health. Um, so, um, next time we're definitely, ooh, I have, I had a great diary before my headaches. Okay. So how did that work for you? Let's hear from Ruthie. How did that work for you when you, um, start journaling about your headaches? Let's, let's hear that while she's typing, we're going to continue this conversation. Um, yeah, journaling is uh, very important. It's very, very important. Um, some people don't want to do it. Um, you definitely have to make it a lifestyle. You make it a lifestyle with anything it is that you do, it would become second nature. I carry my journal with me all the time. <laughs> and if I do not want to write in my journal, I'll voice text and I'll remember it later like homework. So, um, and, and I honestly, um, I'm a, I'm a wine drinker. I love wine and I love a good cocktail too. So some liquor I cannot drink. It would, it would swell me up. Really? Yes. And I had to figure that out because. Is it the sugar? This in, this... I still don't know exactly what it is in there, but so, okay. I don't, you know, you can get black ball for saying certain liquor, but I'm a tequila drinker. So yeah, yeah it's a tequila drinkers. But the other stuff, um, that's white. I <laughs> I don't know what's in there, and I don't I don't know what's in there. I I'm not gonna lie, I have not done any research. I just know when I drink this particular um liquor, it does not do well for me at all. And certain wines will swell me up too. Certain who? wines. Oh, okay. I'm a red wine drinker, but certain red wines still was uh swell me up. Um, well, I think that's because probably like because the processing of it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As they process it, like, because, you know, some of them don't all be all natural, you know, wines, you know, some people add little different things in it to make it what it is. You know what I mean? I I, I, I didn't think of, or, you know, I, mean? I didn't think of that. I just wrote the name down like, no, stay away from that. <laughs> um, Did you figure out where it came from? Like, where was it? You know, you know, I didn't do my research on why I just, I just, whatever it is that I have and whatever name that is, I just completely stay away from it. I don't even figure out why, but that's something dope. I, I should go back and see what's the difference in there, but I just write down the names of, of things and I'm like, like, nope, nope. Like I love eggs, but I know eggs is hard on my stomach, but I love eggs. So yeah. So I went to egg whites and that does um, very well. Have you tried just eggs? No. The plant-based egg? It actually tastes just like eggs. Really? Yeah, I tried it. I tried it a couple of times. I, I had got like some omelets made out of it too. So it was it was good. I think it's a little it's a little sweeter than eggs, hmm. but it's it it's tastes good. like eggs. Yeah, it tastes I'm, like eggs. I like to try new things. So I can yeah. try new things. Oh, wait, we got Ruthia back on. What did she say? Let's see what this say. Um, it definitely helped me understand what food triggers my headaches. Oh, okay. So at what time of day I would get headaches if I ate certain foods or what food combination not to mix so I could avoid them as well. But I am a hard head. <laughs> <laughs> so since you've been um 
Yes, tequila drinker. <laughs> Since you have been um, journaling, do you notice like how good you feel versus when you eat those type of foods? Um, is it is it a big difference on, on your headaches? And is it a time frame, um, a length of time that that it lasts? Or what do you do to get rid of those headaches? I am definitely going to try that. And that's one thing that they do say, do a plant-based diet. So do you, I'm, do you do plant-based? So listen, I was told that I'm semi, somebody told me I was semi, right? Semi plant-based. Pseudo vegan. Okay. Pseudo vegan. <laughs> Never heard that term before. Don't come after me, y'all. Pseudo vegan. Um, because I go between, like, I'll eat plant-based ice cream, which is, which is good. Not I'll very. eat vegan ice cream. Yeah. Which is very good. But I'll go back and forth. Like, I'm not a hundred percent all in it. Well, um, I ain't, I ain't considered vegan, maybe, maybe vegetarian. You know, I don't know what to call, what to call it, but <laughs> <laughs> I go back and forth between plant-based. Um, I love vegan food. Um, so I'm back and forth with seafood. Um, I don't eat too much of white stuff, period. Like starch. I'm not a big starch eater at all. I'm not. Um, you ever had like Beyond Meat? I love that. Um, I think Starbucks sell that. Yeah. The Impossible Breakfast Burger. Yeah, but that's different. That's different? Okay, yeah, I had that and it is, and it's that, good. The Impossible, it has a lot. That's so, it's to have soy in it. Which is good for y'all, you know, women. But not for men because it got estrogen in it. Right. So... Um, Beyond Meat don't have it's soy free. I had Beyond Meat burger before. So I eat that. I eat the burgers, and then they got it ground. It. So therefore, you can make spaghetti out of it if you like spaghetti, lasagna, you know those type of things. It's good, but you got to know how to cook that because I know one time I when I first made it myself, <laughs> oh, it tastes like rubber. Really? <laughs> I overcooked it. Yes. So you gotta oh, cook okay. it the right. You got you gotta know how to cook that type of stuff. Yeah. But I do like that. Yeah, I had seen big on that. Like they got plant based hot Italian sausages. I know. I seen all that stuff when Rots, I be going in the grocery store. Breakfast sausage, all that. Cause I um I don't eat pork at all, so I'll eat like chicken or turkey things. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's pretty good too. Have you ever tried a, a diet based off your blood type? Oh, you teaching me something now? Because yeah, I, I met, I mean, you can look up your blood type and, and it tell you what kind of food is good for your blood type. Because I, I, I remember one time I was serving some chicken and the lady was like, I don't eat chicken because it ain't good for my blood, my blood, you know, blood type. I, you know what? I'm gonna do my homework. He gave me, he gave us some homework, Tom. I'm gonna do my homework. I, yeah. us, <laughs> I did not know that. I never yeah. heard that. So yeah. thank you for the information. So a diet based on uh, based on your blood type. Look into that. You guys get back with me. We got Ruthia back on here. What is she saying? Lachelle. Okay, Lachelle. Try black salt too. It adds the egg flavor to food, salads, etc. Okay. My soul is rich, the roll less. Uh, oh, okay, thank you. The lovely chocolate drop. Yes, I don't have them as much. Next up is figuring out what triggers. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. I cut out beef and pork. Beef, I still have beef every now and uh, now and again. Twisted blade uh, uh, plants upstairs okay yes they are uh twisted plants base upstairs are very very good i had a mushroom vegan burger from them it was so so tasteful yes and i replaced my bread because i don't like to eat bread i replaced that with the lettuce so i had the lettuce and tomatoes and stuff on there that was so good okay um yes twisted bobs in sherman phoenix i even ate there oh he's dropping gems i'm going to look into that yeah he is Oh, <laughs> I always say it wrong. <laughs> what do you feel about beets? You know what, Quentin? Hey, baby. Um, I love beets. I like beets. It's real earth. I you know. yes, I started eating beets when I was first of all. I was made to eat a lot of vegetables when I was growing up. We could not get from the table if our food was not done. Okay. So um but I fell in love with beets. I feel like you got to train your taste buds. Mm -hmm. If you train your taste buds, you're going to fall in love with a lot of things that we say we do not like. And then another thing, too, with 
everything that's good for you don't taste good. So, you know, a lot of people think, <laughs> oh, I gotta, it's got to taste real good or it got to have flavor. Everything that's good for you don't taste good. Like, sea moss good, but taste it's good for you, but it don't taste good. That is so disgusting. But it is very good for you. I like to eat that in my smoothies. Mm -hmm. And beets is good as a juice, too. I like that when you mix different juices together with the, it the has beets. To, it has to be mixed. Beets, juice has to be mixed with something else. I can eat beets by itself, but you the can? juice, yeah. I could definitely eat that by itself, but the the ju the beets juice mm, disgusting. It got you got to mix it up with me. Yeah. Mix it up with some sweet something yeah, something. Some apples or some pineapples. pineapples. Yeah, you got to mix yeah. it. You got to mix it. Sea moss texture is nasty. It is kinda, but it's so good for you. I I buy it every time I see it, and it always goes away. So I'm gonna challenge myself next time. Um, I come across of it. I want to get some, and um, the goal is to finish it off. Um, what's called upstairs? Play with sea moss and what Tom? Yeah, I was just about to say. I is that just, what you gave me? I, I was just about to say. I knew, I knew something was in there. Okay, yeah. Vitality, shout out to you. That that's that, that Kamar, drink. Kamar, yeah, that's yeah. Kamara. Yeah, that fire. fire. That juice was very good. I knew it was something in there. I thought it was something else in there. I was like, is that in there? He was like, nah. That was very good. That, they got to tap in, uh, yeah, tap in with that vitality. <laughs> I'm telling you. Cures. Okay. So, uh, Sir Quentin, there is no cures for, um, is that what you're talking about? No, it's like beats Oh, oh, beats cares a lot. Cures yeah. a lot. Yeah. What? Yeah, me too. Beats with ginger and lemon and bananas. I love that. I, I could see, I could see me drinking that. I definitely could see me drinking that. No, he did just say cure, or did yeah, he? Was cure. that a topo? He, he meant cure. Mm, okay. Cure, yeah. So you messing me up. <laughs> 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 you know when you wear glasses, I have a stigmatism, you guys. So, so, <laughs> so when you wear glasses, you try not to focus in. So I do a lot of scan reading, which sometimes don't work for me, and sometimes do work for me <laughs> because if I focus in too much, my 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 head get to hurting. We ain't doing that today with all these lights. Um, this is dope, healthy choices. Yes, it is. Hey, TG, TG has a, a upcoming um show. She is a great member of the panel podcast group. Um, she has a show on the 29th of this month. Um, go check her out. Where is that located? Tika G, put that um your venue where you're going to be at. Where's where it's going to be at in in the comments. She's very hilarious, you guys. You gotta, you gotta check her out. You got, you have to check her out. She's dope. She's dope. Um, the what's the last comment on there? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, is there anything else that you would like to add to um, information triggers the the diet? Even though it's more than one diet, um, anything else that you would like to add when it comes to triggers and lupus? Um, like going organic too. Like you know, we can you can get that the regular vegetables, but you know, a lot of them regular vegetables have GMO. You know, they got them uh, genetically modified. So, straw strawberries is not supposed to be real big. Strawberries is supposed to be size of blackberries and stuff like that. So you know, then lemons when lemons be extra big they don't supposed to be that big they don't give out a lot of juice and especially with ginger root if you go to the store because now nowadays or during the winter time you will see a lot of extra big ginger roots but then you when you get it and it juice it or whatnot they don't give off a lot of juice you is so, dropping some so stuff I, you gonna make me start looking at different things you changing my whole mindset right now you're reading, <laughs> you're reading the labels Cause if you can't pronounce it, you don't need to eat it. You don't need you to know what your I body. <laughs> <For> real. <laughs> I said that long time ago, but I I didn't believe myself. I just used to say like, "What is this? If I can't pronounce it, I shouldn't be eating." It, but I was still eating. So that's the true thing, huh? Right. Yeah. You know, like, uh, what's that? Um, like gummy bears and stuff like that. I love gummy bears. You know that made with pork? Okay. Yeah. You got pork in. <sighs> See, people don't even know that. You, I, I don't want to talk to you no more. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. I, I forgot the name. It started with a T, I think. I think that's yeah. Pork. Oh, my God. You're going to take everything away from me. 
I love gummy bears, gummy worms, the nerves that stuck together. Those are my Gross. nighttime snacks. Hey, you know they say if you wasn't born with it, you could live without it. Oh my god, it's gonna help me lose some weight, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> What we got up there, um, Quinn said, what about CBD plugs? Um, Quinn, that's going to be another show, but we definitely going to talk about that. Um, okay. Oh, the 30th, you guys, I do apologize. She's going to, it's going to be the 30th at, um, Bougie Back, Backyard Comedy Show. Flyer will be on her page. So Tika G, Ruthia, my chocolate drop. Did he mention where we can find his food? Where can you find your food? Uh, actually, I, I got an event Sunday. And um, it's uh, London Sweet Studio. So that's, I got the address. The lovely tone. Can we put that in the chats, please? Or tag it? Thank you it's so much. one to five this The man Sunday. behind everything. My niece told me because. Uh, Kenda, what? Basically going back, she told her niece told her that it was making pork because of the deficit. Oh, see, he got me on track. I'm like, what are you talking about? Don't tell me that. We're going to, y'all. I'm gonna have to. I just bought a whole bag of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Luxury Studios. The address is 8524 West Lisbon Avenue, one to five. And when? Sunday. This Sunday? The 23rd. 23rd. 1 to 5. 1 to 5. Yeah. I ain't going to tell y'all what I'm having. Then I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> no, I might I might bring the Mexican jerk chicken out. That's a signature recipe. Mm. So if you ever heard, yeah, they stole it. So if you ever heard of it. So Mexican jerk. Um, I got some signature Alfredos. One that got salmon in it. I, do I love a, Alfredo. Seafood Alfredo. Got shrimp and lobster in it. I never had that. Yeah. Oh, he making me hungry. <laughs> what else? We 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 get the we get the inside because you are on this show today. We you gotta drop the inside. We get the inside here. What else you gonna be having? I might I might do this my uh, my first time bringing it to the to the public. My uh, uh, turkey wings. I love turkey turkey wings. Yes. What's gonna be on top of them? Nothing. Nothing. My, my seasoning. Your seasoning. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. You I'm ain't cool gonna need no teeth either. Yep. So, okay. So if they anybody out there got dentures, they can leave me home. Cause I be taking my Invisaligns out. When I take them out, my teeth be a little bit tender before <laughs> you know. So because I, so is that's gonna be good. They're gonna be gentle on my teeth. <laughs> then my signature uh, potatoes with spinach and fresh Parmesan cheese. Mm. So you know, you are gonna have to have VIP for the panel, right? Mm -hmm. We are gonna have to have our own line. Yeah. Okay. Online, our online like VIP line, yeah. Skip the line, go right to the front. Yes, yeah. can we work out something with that? Yeah, okay, we can, we okay. Some VIP, we got Ruthia said, What did she say? Something about you were sold out last event. Oh, we're gonna have to come. Listen, we're gonna put our orders in before. And you gonna make those if you could please make those and put those to the side yeah, be because gone. we be on a late show sometimes. If y'all, hey, y'all got four hours. Well, you know, it probably don't last four hours. Right, but, that's what I'm know. saying. You might run out. Right, yeah. Y'all got to be there. Y'all be there at 1245. <sighs> now watch me set up. We could watch you set up. <laughs> 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 desserts. Do you do any desserts? We got the lovely Kenda, the voice. No desserts? I do oh. give samples, though. What? I give samples. You know, give them a wake up. You know, get them started. Get them started. Yeah. So you don't get them started and have them feeding them, but can't come back for more because you don't do yeah. desserts. Oh, no, not, not dessert. I'm talking about my food. I give samples. So. No. Oh, okay. He gives samples. That's dope. A lot of people don't give samples. That's mm -hmm. how far to that. Yeah. I, I, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. You know, if you come to eat food, buy food, you ain't going to turn down nothing free. You got a point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here, try this before you buy it. And it, it, even if a person come and say, oh, I want to buy it anyway, I still want to try it while I'm making their play so they can, you know, get ready for it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Do you make any desserts? We no, gotta, I don't. No desserts. The boys, no desserts. I might look into that. You might look into that? Yeah. It's going to be vegan, plant-based desserts. 
I mean, I, I get the people what they want. You get the people what saying? they want. Yeah, I get, it. I get the people what they want. So it's probably will, probably yeah. won't. I might have different. <laughs> I have different things. Oh my goodness. Yams. Can I be on it? Do you do, <laughs> do you do yams? No. No, yeah. I don't make sense, uh, soul food. You don't make soul no, food because everybody does it. Okay, so what is your food considered? Yeah, what's well, especially a salmon. My, my, Alfredo's because I, um, some people so might remember. So, what category me from, do you put that? That's where the gourmet come in at? Yeah, okay, gourmet. got you. That's and then I make, uh, you know, the fresh steamed uh, vegetables. I love fresh steamed vegetables. No butter or nothing like that. Just straight season. Um, like For asparagus. No, I do like mixed vegetables. I mean, I, I do. I have done asparagus on the grill. I love asparagus. And everything I cook is be on the grill. Stuff like the vegetables. That's healthy. Yeah. And that's a different type of taste. That's why I grill chicken instead of fried chickens. Everybody want fried chicken. You can't really get the the savoriness of of a of fried chicken. But you can do it with when I do grilled chicken. I love it. You different. We definitely gone. We got a team that love to eat. We always eating something. As you can see, we're yeah. gonna be hitting you up. So don't be um getting us hooked and then not being available because your inbox gonna be no, that's what we I gonna do. Be. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I do. That I, I do that for a living full-time father, and besides being a father, and I'm cooking. I'm, okay. all, I'm always I'm always cooking. Okay. We we coming. We coming Sunday, right? You guys, how many, how many of us gonna be there on Sunday? Let me see. And it's just the panel. Um so we're going to wrap this up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this segment on some tips and um, on what to eat and what not to eat, what to stay away from, um, to start journaling. So what I will ask for you guys to do is next time I do a part two on this, I want to know what you guys start journaling, when you started journaling, what you eat and what you learned um, and how did it um how did it trigger your lupus? Okay. So stay tuned for the next topic uh, when it comes to um, nutrition, balancing, um, eating, when it comes to living well with lupus. I want to hear about your general experiences. And um, we do not have our lovely producer here to cut me out. So while we're waiting on him, we're going to read some more comments. Next time I'm going to have some samples. Some samples? Yeah, I'm going to bring them here to the studio. And while we on live, I want you to sample the food so they can see your e expression. So we definitely gonna have a part two, okay? <laughs> uh, we got Kenda. Do you cater? Do you cater? Yes, I do. You do cater, yes. okay? He he cater you guys. He cater you guys. A dad that can cook. Mm, my chocolate drop said that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to be there. You should be here. But I'll see you in a minute. Um, she'll be potting in a little bit anyways, but he's definitely, and I do gardening too. What do you mean? I like outside? Outside, indoor garden too. Like if you, if you don't got no yard and you got a patio or balcony, I can make that happen for you. Hmm. I like pretty things. So you like flowers, roses, flowers, flowers, like something growing. Fruits and vegetables. Really? You do all of that? Yeah. 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 Wait, listen. He does a lot. I wasn't even ready for him. I we was just talking about food, but he does a lot. I am coming to part two. Yes, I, I would love you guys to come to part two. Where can they find you at um, doing that? Is it on the same platforms? Yeah, on uh, Jay's Gourmet Cater on Facebook. You got pictures and stuff? Yeah, I do. You do? Probably, probably a couple years old, but yeah. I That's do. fine. It still yeah. show your work. Yeah, peppers, uh, tomatoes. I love lettuce. peppers. Do you teach them how to do it for like for a first time or something? Like, I want to grow something. Would you? Because that can be therapeutic, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, do you teach people how to, yeah, you know, I, take really? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. you a different type of dude. Are you going to rap about food to, <laughs> to end out? <laughs> we can pop from there. <laughs> hey, you want to get him a little taste? I didn't even bring my speaker. I could have played some. You could have played some. They could look it up. Look it up on uh, um, YouTube, Apple Music. I got a song called uh, Gourmet Affirmations. You really? Know? Yeah. Tell them to come get a play. Rapping and cooking. I, 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 I Jay love Black that. the Don, not Jay's Gourmet though. But Jay Black the Don. 
and that's on Instagram. No, that's on all platforms, music platform. Oh, that's my music name. Oh, yeah. Okay. My, my cooking is Jay Gourmet. So he cook, ladies. He rap, and he a full time father. Serenade, you know, I do a little humming and harmonizing, you know, stuff like that. He is gassing <laughs> it. <laughs> he is gassing it. Next time we had one, we just had played my music to introduce us. Let them know I'm in the building. I like that. We we I give the the customers what they want. Yeah. So if that's what your, they want. The if that is want. if if that's your request, I'm okay with that. We could set something up, but it's definitely gonna be a part two. Definitely gonna be a part two. Yes, we done freestyle this thing all the way out, you guys. So, um, hope to see you soon. You can find me on um YouTube, Lupus Has No Face Podcast. Again, I want to see you and your journal experience the next time for part two. Stay tuned. See you later.